JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for December the 31st. I am Harald Ambos Pissoros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content uh, we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. The US dollar continued trading south against uh, the majority of the other G10 currencies on Wednesday and during the Asian session Thursday. It gained only versus SEC while it was found virtually unchanged against the Euro and the Swiss franc. The greenback underperformed the most versus uh, the Australian dollar, the New Zealand dollar and the British pound. Now, the weakening of the US dollar combined with the strengthening of the risk-linked Aussie and Kiwi suggests that financial markets continue trading in a risk-on fashion. However, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that major EU indices finished their session slightly in the red. The only index that lost more than 0.35% was UK's uh, FTSE 100, which slid 0.71%, perhaps due to a strengthening pound after Britain approved the emergency use of a coronavirus vaccine developed by AstraZeneca and Oxford uh, University, which, which will be rolled out on Monday. Remember that many companies of the food scene generate profits in other currencies, so in a strengthening uh, GBP environment, if those profits are converted into pounds, they worth less. Now, in the US, Wall Street's uh, three main indices closed slightly positive, while during the Asian session today, the improved investor morale was more profound. Both China's Shanghai Composite and Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 1.72 and 0.45% respectively. Japan's Nikkei 225 and South Korea's KOSPI remained closed. The relative uh, muted trading activity during yesterday's EU and US sessions confirms our view that uh, at the begin confirms our view that uh, the markets are poised uh, to end the year on a quiet note. However, the the stronger performance during the the Asian session gives flesh to the risks uh, we have uh, we have been uh, mentioning, namely that. Uh, sometimes uh, the thin liquidity results in, results in some volatility. That said, remember that we also said that in such a case we would see the risks as tilted to the upside in line with our broader view. Speaking about our view, we stick to our guns that the vaccinations, the fiscal stimulus in the US, the Brexit court and, uh, and Biden presidency may continue to provide support for uh, risk-linked assets while safe havens may stay under selling interest as we enter 2021. As for today though, most markets under our radar will be closed uh, as it is uh, New Year's Eve, while others uh, like in the UK will close early. Tomorrow is uh, New Year's Day and thus all the markets we, we pay attention to will be closed. Therefore, we will get a clearer picture uh, with, regards to, uh, with regards to market sentiment next week. Now back to the currencies, besides the improved market appetite, another factor that may be behind the US dollar's slight uh, may be the rapidly widening twin deficit in the US. The explosion of the budget and uh, trade deficits uh, means that more dollars are being printed and moved abroad. Now, with President-elect Joe Biden pledged to provide more fiscal support, meaning that the nation's debt will increase, the dollar is likely to stay under selling interest in the first months of the new year. On the contrary, the EU runs a huge, uh, the European Union runs a huge current account surplus largely thanks to Germany, so there is a natural inflow of euros uh, through trade. With both the Fed and the ECB stepping on the extra loose pedal in terms of uh, monetary policy, 
This makes us believe that the path of least resistance for, uh, for euro dollar uh, is to the upside. Now, as uh, for today's events, the only item on the economic calendar worth mentioning is the U.S. initial jobless claims for last week, which are expected to have increased to 833,000 from 803,000 uh, the week before. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. Now, tomorrow is New Year's Day and thus there will be no daily market review video. I will be back on Monday with the weekly Market Outlook webinar. So, goodbye and Happy New Year! JFT just fair and direct.